Welcome to the ACLS pre-hospital VR simulation. My name is Michael. I'm here to introduce you to the app and I'll be observing and helping during this simulation. You will be in the role of team lead during both non-cardiac arrest and cardiac arrest scenarios. I know you're pretty new to this app. Let's take a minute to get you used to working in the VR environment. Because it's important to optimize the space for patient care, let's learn about talking in VR while optimizing the room. First, it's kind of dark in here. Ask Aaron to turn on the lights. Aaron, please turn on the lights. Sure, I'll get the lights. That TV is pretty loud. Ask Andre to turn it off. Please turn off the TV. Right, I'll turn off the TV. That's it. I think we're about ready. Mr. Nelson is a 65-year-old man. We received a call that he was dizzy and laid down here. We hooked him up to the biphasic defibrillator and have a bolus of normal saline going. You can see his rhythm and he has a pulse. How should we treat this? Aaron, let's administer adenosine. I'll administer adenosine. Please restate the instruction and include the dosage I should give. Okay, uh, Aaron, let's give him six milligrams of adenosine. Giving adenosine six milligrams. <laughs> Whoa. All right, the adenosine is in. All right, looks like that didn't work. Uh, Aaron, let's give him 12 milligrams of adenosine. Giving adenosine 12 milligrams. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Hmm, blood pressure is still holding and his pulse is strong. Should we give atropine? Sir, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Actually, I don't feel bad at all. No, we don't need to give any atropine. Oh, right. With stable bradycardia, we should hold off on meds and just observe in a monitored setting while working up the underlying causes. Good call. He's very hypotensive. How should we manage this? What's your name? My name is Sonia. Okay, Sonia, let's do synchronized cardioversion at 200 joules. Performing synchronized cardioversion. Charging. All clear. Shock delivered. Is BP normalized? How should we treat this? Aaron, let's give him 150 milligrams of amiodarone. Giving amiodarone 150 milligrams IV. His color still looks good. Can you tell us what rhythm this is? This looks like a type one second degree AV block. Right, type one second degree AV block, also called Wankybach. Since he's asymptomatic, we do not need to intervene emergently. His care team can work up the cause after the procedure. However, if he becomes unstable, we'll give atropine and move to transcutaneous pacing if that doesn't work. He's still bradycardic and hypotensive. Please let us know what this rhythm is before we proceed. Uh, that looks like it's a type 2 third degree AV block. It is a type of AV block, but that's not the right one. Which one is it? That looks like Mobitz. Right, I see. It's type 2, also called Mobitz second degree AV block. It's highly unstable. The waveform just changed and he's more hypotensive. Normal saline and O2 are going. What should we do? Uh, let's check for H's and T's. That's a great idea. Because we're drilling ACLS protocols, we just want to concentrate on the algorithms. Okay, let's do transcutaneous pacing going. 
Please use the name of the person you're talking to. Okay, initiating transcutaneous pacing at 70 milliamps and a rate of 70. We have good capture. He's still hypotensive. What should we do? Sonia, let's start synchronized cardio version at 140 joules. Performing synchronized cardio version. Charging. All clear. Shock delivered. Vitals are unchanged. Okay, Sonia, let's do synchronized cardio version at 400 joules. That's the correct management, but please repeat with a different voltage. That's too high. All right, let's do synchronized cardio version at 160 joules. Performing synchronized cardio version. Charging. All clear. Shock delivered. His heart rate just dropped. What do you want to do? Mr. Nelson, how are you feeling? Oh. Aaron, let's start 0.5 milligrams of atropine. Administering 0 0.5 milligrams of atropine. I'll repeat every three minutes up to a total of three milligrams. He's not responding to the atropine. What should we do next? All right, Aaron, let's uh, do a dopamine drip. Starting a dopamine drip at 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Looks like it's working. 